Let's now talk about IT strategy. We know that the strategy for the IT department has got to align with business goals and objectives. And so we need to make sure as a CISA that, that it does indeed align with the business goals. And the strategy also has to say, how will this thing we bought, this technology, actually support the business strategy? We're not going to buy new technology just because it's cool. We're going to buy it because it will support a business objective. And how cost effective is it for us to implement this as opposed to something else? Also, um, where do we go to acquire the resources we need? Uh, you know, what personnel do we need? What vendors do we need? What bids do we need uh, to acquire whatever we want? And always, always, is it aligning with the business strategy? So obviously we have strategic planning, and as an IS auditor, I want to see that they um, are doing strategic planning. And we, uh, I want to make sure that they have the planning because organizations will do the planning to determine how to improve their business process. Always when you do something, you're looking for, can we improve our process? And we have the planning to develop short and long-term strategic plans, and you don't develop it with just one person. You have a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of stakeholders involved in the strategic planning. And if you want your IT department to support your strategic plans, give them a voice. It, make sure they understand that you might not necessarily act on all recommendations because there might be a higher need or a budget limit or something like, or further down the road or, or there's a strategic direction. But, but give them a voice and let representatives from different departments help um, contribute input. And then they can then be um, advocates for the strategic plan back in their own departments. So the focus areas for our strategic plan, what's the demand? Do we need it? What's the, let's assess it. And uh, how good is it? And then let's plan for IT. Now your strategy committee, committee is, you can have it linked to the board of directors. Um, it's going to be focused on advising the board on strategy options, risk, value, performance factors. The board's going to depend on you, the folks on the ground, to know what it is you're talking about. And so um, this strategy committee is going to uh, make recommendations based on discovery and what they know. The uh, IT will also have a steering committee, and these are senior management, personnel management, IS department. And the whole idea with the steering committee is that we're overseeing all the activities and the overall direction of the whole IS um, function in the organization. And we're making sure that we stay in alignment with the business objectives, the corporate mission and objectives. The IT steering committee has common functions. We can see these. So we per, uh, perform reviews of the long and short term objectives. We review all the hardware and software acquisitions. We monitor all the major projects. We establish the strategies for outsourcing. We review resource allocation. And we make um, responsibility assignments, so you're responsible for this, you're responsible for that. We provide support for the uh, IS management plan, and we report all IS activities. So that's the IT steering committee. So as an auditor, I expect to see, is there a functioning IT steering committee? Of course, this is in a large organization. A small organization, it might be considerably condensed. You might not have that sort of breakout. But a lot of this, this whole ISACA uh, CISA auditing is aimed at larger organizations that need large amounts of auditing. In an enterprise architecture, we need to have a, uh, the enterprise architecture is this framework that helps us design, plan, and implement, and track the IT assets. And of course, align the investments with the business strategy. As IT, if we're going to buy a bunch of servers, does it support the business strategy? So like my example when we were working in Africa, the um, purchases, we didn't buy expensive stuff because the business strategy was that we knew the reality of the environment. And so we, we, we understood that there would have to be a turnover of equipment just because of the harshness of the, the environment and the conditions. The uh, enterprise um, approach, so the technology approach focuses on the IT assets, and the, the business process approach focuses on specific processes that are used to run a business. So when you're evaluating the IT strategy, 
you want to make sure that the strategic plan includes process and planning framework to develop the plan. You want to review the plan, you want to update it on a regular schedule. You want to review the communication plan and review the monitoring and evaluation requirements for the plan. You want to make sure that the proper individuals were involved in creating the plan. So um, we want to make sure that the steering committee and the strategy committee and senior IT management are all involved. We want to verify that the plan fully supports the overall business strategy and that the strategic plan matches also what is currently be being done throughout the organization as well.